So you got some new lures for your stream. But now there's a problem. You don't know how to add them to your stream. Well, that's why I'm here to help, which is not a great start. But what you want to do is you want to go to stream elements and click a little drop down that says streaming tools. Then you're going to click on my overlays. If you don't have any other overlays already set up, don't worry about it. Um, you're going to go over here and click on new overlay. It's going to open up a new window and ask you the overlay resolution. 90% of the time, you're going to want to do custom at 1920 by 1080p. Now you're going to want to go to the sidebar and click add widget. It's going to bring up a box with all these choices, but nobody actually needs those. Then inside that, click on the alert box. And then on the sidebar, we're going to open up the position and size drop down and change the alert box res to 1920 by 1080p to match that. Now we can start with the fun part. We're going to go to the top and click the cog wheel for any of the alerts that you need, such as like subscribe or something like that. When that opens up, click change video and select the alert video that you'll need for that specific alert. If you don't want stream elements default sound, you can clear that out here. Under layout, if you're using a full screen alert, like the one I'm using right now, you're going to want to pick this selection. Under layout section, you can see the alert duration and the message. For the message, I usually delete everything except for the name. And for the alert video I used, it's only 10 seconds long, so this is perfect for mine. Now when you play test the alert, it's full screen, it looks incredible. Now you can pat yourself on the back. But we can't see the name of the person, so we need to adjust the size and location of the text for this alert specifically, which you can buy on my Etsy page, link below. I set the text size to 90 and went to the advanced tab and set the top margin to 450. There's more text settings in this area if you want to mess around with the animation of how it pops in and everything, but I won't be going all over all that. Now after playing with the text size and location, you can go to your animation tab. At the bottom, there's a text appearance delay and text disappearance offset. And for the appearance, depending on your overlay, this could be different. But for this overlay that you can buy on my Etsy link, the text should show up around 3.3 seconds. And for the text disappearance offset, this is when the text should disappear. So for this overlay, it should disappear about 0.1 seconds before it ends. After you go through all the alerts and set them up, you can save all your settings and copy the link here. Now go to your OBS, click add browser source, paste the link there, and change the res to 1920 by 1080 p and then click OK. And your alerts are all set. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed or learned something, feel free to like and subscribe, or don't. I mean, you can dislike it. YouTube doesn't tell me anyway, so I uh, hope you guys have a good one. Peace.